Hello everyone, welcome to set 75342, the Republic fighter tank at 262 pieces. This is certainly an interesting set, Republic fighter tanks. For some reason, they seem to create such controversy when they're released, and I think it's absolutely hilarious. And if you've been following the rumor mill and just like a Star Wars news in general, you can you know that this guy has caused some um, some some heated discussion. It's certainly an interesting set, and I'm really looking forward to diving my hands into it. Um, of course, let me figure this out. We have a nice little Mace Windu right there, and a nice little clone commander, some clone troopers, and of course, some lovely battle droids. Um, me personally, I'm sure like most other people, I'm very excited for the Mace Windu. Um, I've never owned one, so this will be my first. And of course, you know, more clone troopers. How can you ever go wrong with that? The build, um, we'll see. I've, when I first saw it, um, with the leaked photo, at first I I thought it looked bad, but I thought I want to reserve judgment until it shows like the entirety of it. And then they released it all, and I thought, you know, this isn't as bad as it seemed to be looking from the one leaked picture. And now that I've let it kind of sink in more, and I've definitely seen other reviews and other people talk about it, and I've just kind of gathered my own thoughts. Um, I I don't know if I'll like this or not, but you know, that's only videos. It's like you can't you don't have it in your hands, and that's exactly what this review is for. So if we take a look at the box, we'll flip it around real quick. The back of the box shows some of the cool features. Of course, you can see the little uh, treadmills at the bottom, little wheels to kind of give it some push, like it's actually floating. Um, of course, what would a Star Wars set be without like fire missiles? And a nice little, little cockpit to uh, hold the clone trooper, which I'm very interested to see how this goes, because even the box art itself shows that it doesn't close all the way, which is always a big gripe of mine. Um, it also shows the little little panel that can come out the back. Um, box art's pretty fun. Um, for some reason, I always I always think it's funny how clone troopers, they never have their blue blasters or the blue blaster bolt, it seems like, in Lego sets. They never seem to... I think maybe the 501st Battle Pack has it, but for some reason, other ones, they just they don't. Um, this is, I love a little battle droid giving up. I like these little side panels. I think they're very nice. And then top of the box here, a little... To see the airborne trooper will look like up close and uh yeah that's everything there's not really much left to do besides build a guy so let's go take a look here we are with the entire finished build um didn't take that long as i built it i went through about two episodes of community so about it was 30 to 40 minutes um i wouldn't say i noticed anything particularly special about it it's a very mundane build um i don't know yeah nothing i can't say anything really caught me off guard um, there's about 12 stickers total that I don't enjoy, mainly because I suck at using stickers, but it should be known if anyone else is like that. This is a very sticker-heavy set. Um, of course, he's looking at the figures now. They are, <laughs> as I suspected, easily the best part about this set. I mean, they're are really incredible, especially for 40 bucks. getting um, the six of these guys, well, four if you don't want to count the battle droids. It's, uh, it's really great, and Airborne Trooper makes one dude. The clones themselves are amazing. Of course, the main concern comes here with the fighter tank. But that should come after. Let's go take a look at the minifigures. All right, and our first figures up are two battle droids. Um, I mean, there's not much to say. These guys have kind of stayed the same for, well, pretty much since they've been made. Um, it's always nice getting new ones. You know, the joints always feel a little bit tighter. It's just pretty nice, not just completely just all over the place. Like in older ones, I have a bunch of... Um, but yeah, I mean, something different, a little interesting, I guess, is that the guns are kind of the silver gunmetal, not just like the plain black. Um, I'm not sure the reason why. Um, it's just cool, I guess, cool little fact. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, it's just two battle droids. I mean, can't complain. Nice to have. And now probably what I'm most excited for is this Mace Windu figure. I've never owned one, and it was a big reason I wanted to purchase the set, and I gotta say, having one, it is really cool. It's got a nice face print, you know, kind of... I guess angry, disturbed, you can't really tell. Of course, he has a nice purple lightsaber. Um, mine's frosted. I know some of them aren't, I've heard. So, you know, I guess be wary of that. I'm lucky mine is. Um, you know, great torso printing, great leg printing, good back printing. And of course, the main draw for this guy is this beautiful arm printing. I mean, wow. It is very cool to see the, uh, the Clone Wars gauntlets on a Leo minifigure. I haven't really uh, seen that before. Um, I mean, my only nitpick, I guess I can, is just looking head on. It's not the prettiest just because of how arm printing works in Legos. It doesn't go all the way around the arm. 
So the gauntlet, or supposed to be the gauntlet, kind of just just kind of cuts off halfway, which um, I mean, it annoys my ACD, OCD, I'm stupid, OCD a little bit. But um, other than that, I mean, this is this is an amazing figure, and man, I I have no complaints. It's so cool to own a Mace Windu now. And now we have one of the definitely main draws of the set. The two clone troopers aren't these guys. <laughs> They're so cool. They're so neat. Um, of course, um, they have the new head for the clone troopers. It looks really great. I've been really happy ever since they've changed this to a cooler looking head. Um, you know, great helmet prints. I'm, I really like the the kind of new look these clone troopers have for their visors. Unless, um, not sorry, unless, unlike, uh, we can take this guy, for example. Um, the kind of older clone troopers, you know, the kind of longer, I guess. Um, kind of longer... Um, snouts whatever you want to call it um, i definitely prefer this design um the purple is awesome really striking i love the little satchel they have that extends also to the back which looks really great um the leg printing looks great and yeah i mean it's all around these are these are a cool pair of clone troopers to own i know they're not canon um the 187th legion this is based off a of hasbro toy i believe which definitely makes this a strange pick for lego to not go with his um, his canon clone troopers as you can see at the end of season seven their uh, phase two look but um, I'm I'm still very happy to get like a niche clone legion like this. Any legion, I'm I'm definitely down for, and uh, these guys definitely don't disappoint. Last but certainly not least is the 187th Legion Clone Commander. Um, this is another one I was really looking forward to getting um, from this set, is because I never owned an airborne trooper. Or I guess technically he's a commander, but I mean the helmet mold is for airborne troopers. Um, and yeah, does he look cool? I love the helmet mold. It's it's still just a really beautiful mold. I love the printing on it. Um, I love his torso and his legs. I love the the satchel that kind of um, goes all the way down to his legs. His I'm not sure you see his entire like chest plate right here is um, the black pauldron. He's got two little stripes right here. Um, the pauldron actually wraps around the back, which is a lovely detail. And um, like the others, he has just the regular clone face. And just all around, super cool. My only gripe is not even with him, it's just the blaster. I'm not a fan of the uh, the candle, I believe is what this piece is at the end. I know it kind of makes it look like the, uh, the clone rifle that they use. That's not like a terrible look. It's just something I, I don't prefer. But I mean, if I really, really can care about it, I could just pop it right off and boom, call it a day. But um, <laughs> then make this guy trip in the process. But um, yeah, super cool uh, clone commander, I guess, or airborne. I mean, he really can go both way. Um, but yeah, just really neat figure. Awesome to have. And here we are with the actual fighter tank. It is it is a little strange to finally have it in hand after all this time of just kind of looking at it online, seeing different reviews, and kind of getting an idea of what it looks like and all the, all the likes, all the dislikes. Um, I think I'll start with the likes. Um, as much as I hate the stickers, if they do provide such a nice level of detailing. I love the stickers right here, so on the side. Um, the front paneling stickers are really great. Um, I love some of the angles of this set, um, specifically kind of in the cockpit area. I love how they use these little um, pieces right here. I don't know the name of them. Um, just kind of really angling it in. I think that's really great. Um, I do love this little hatch. I think of all the building process. I don't know why this one, building this part, specifically the rod is connected on, I thought was probably the coolest um that's kind of that's kind of it i mean um yeah it's it's kind of it's a it's a it's an interesting looking set to say the least again um as i finally got in hand my main thing i always saw on sun reviews in the box and stuff this gap this gap right here let me tell you it is easily the the bane of my existence i mean you really can't get rid of it another gripe i'll mention later i kind of hate these flick fire missile areas they're just so easy to kind of just pop out and shoot i'm gonna leave them off now because they're really annoying um it's another gripe i kind of hate how it's just sticking out i prefer like the old fire tank with little stud shooters but that's here and over there let's get back to this 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 cap um yeah i saw reviewers say like there's no there's no way you can get rid of it and i was like yeah try me and um they weren't lying <laughs> they were definitely not lying there is um, no way to get rid of this. Maybe unless you kind of get rid of this piece and you kind of go down more, but that doesn't really have like a place to kind of step on, if that makes any sense, kind of like lay on. Um, unless you do that or like you kind of grab an X-Acto knife and kind of just shave off a part right here so it can kind of fit in like a slot. There's no other way. Um, 
it, be, it kind of, honestly it kind of bewilders me how um how this got through how this is allowed um it's not the best it's not very good looking at all there's not really any way to sugarcoat it it's easily i think the the weakest part of this set um besides the whole uh, what do you want to call this the, the base of it it's not really a base like this is the legs and stuff are like the base of it i think the entire like these parts are here the legs extremely well done they're really like, really nice it's just this this base this uh very tall base um interestingly enough the height really doesn't bother me too much i think it's kind of nice kind of has a bit of a presence to it which i really enjoy um it's it's this it's this very flat way um going for you can't really see it well back here but just like forward just like it looks <laughs> it just looks it looks silly there's no other way to put it it looks very silly um yeah i mean it's just it's not a good look i really wish they maybe buffed it up a bit you know instead of just having this tile piece right here um just kind of put some more like it's kind of build it up a bit more i can kind of see why because there's not much room here with these just two studs but I feel like they could have spent a little more time and maybe figured out something. Um, I'm sure there's definitely different ways to do it. I've seen some YouTubers, you know, definitely modify this and try to make it look better. Um, I mean, I think it's a t bit of a tough task. It's a, it's not the, the prettiest thing, but there's there's still some good stuff here. Um, for play features, like I mentioned uh, uh, the missiles right here. I mean, it's nice to have. I really do hate how easy it is to shoot them. That's why they're out right now. I just saw earlier. Um, besides that, and a nice little play feature, it's always nice to just kind of aim at the droids and just kind of shoot them. Um, of course, you got this opens entirely, which is I th admittedly, I think, a pretty fun feature that you can fit a clone trooper right here. Like, you know, if I'll grab a guy, you can just kind of squeeze him in. I do think it's a bit strange how there is no, uh, like, cockpit piece, or not cockpit piece, like a little control panel. Like, for example, um, you can kind of see it um, right here. You know, let it focus. Yeah, you can see it like the little top part here for the clone commander. You know, he's got his own little control panel. Um, I guess this guy is just kind of just kind of chilling, um, just kind of not being a part of the battle, just enjoying a nice little cozy. You know, maybe you can imagine a TV or something in here. But yeah, not even like a sticker or something to like put in here. Um, very odd. Very odd. I guess just cutting corners is the only thing I can really think of. But yeah, close is nice. So you can <laughs> kind of see him poking out right there. You know. Maybe like a little Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Um, is that I've already shown this. Open that up. You can put your little clone commander in it, which is um, nice. You know, you can kind of sit him in there and look at him controlling the battlefield with his long gun. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. It's a little weird to get out. I kind of wish maybe they put a little something here, but it's not the end of the world. It's not that hard to get out. It's like getting to nitpicking at this point. Um, last thing is um, this little area. I'm not really sure how I feel about this, um, I don't, I just don't get the point. I mean, it's a cool little feature, I guess, you know, you can have a little area. So like, oh, uh, the clones need to be deployed in the battlefield. So now like, oh, put the cockpit out and go, 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 man, you know, go out and fight the droids, pew. Um, that's the only thing I think of. Um, I, even though I say, I think it's a bit weird. I think it is a bit nice just how open this, um, um, this tank is. I mean, it's, it, there's not really a single way you can't get through to it. It's, um, it leaves a lot of, I guess, imagine, oh, I'm not sure how to describe it, just, you know, a lot of different play areas, I guess. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do, you know, maybe, you know, if the kid driving, it's like, oh, we use our flick fire muscles, we're done for, and then bam, a clone's in here. Or put Mace Windu in here, I'm going to jump off, pew, pew, and you guys thought, um, you know, or something like that. Um, but again, it's just, it's a, it's a bit strange, just... Um, just the set in general, I, I guess. Um, I don't want to knock it. I mean, this is I mean, this could be far worse. I think it's a bit exacerbated how awful this set is. Um, I mean, it is not very accurate. I mean, I know that, and people compared it to whether or not Battlefront Two, or earlier Battlefront Two, where you're just like the, the movies, games, you know, whatever. Um, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, maybe just because I do own the other fighter tank, which we're definitely going to take a look at real quick and compare the two. But yeah, um, I'm not going to say terrible by any means, but um, I'm not going to say amazing either. I mean, I would put it at a 
I feel indifferent to it. That's how I feel about the build. I'm indifferent to it. It's just like it exists. It's cool. I mean, but it feels like it's just an excuse to get the minifigures. So, as I mentioned, this is um, this has garnered quite some controversy, as all Republic Fighter tanks do. And while I don't own the very first one from around like the early 2000s, I do own the second one. And um, this is, if you can part of the dust on it, um, it's interesting to get it you know, have both of them in hand and just kind of look at them. Um, I think, obviously, I think some things um, one does better than the other. I kind of do prefer the the siding to this, you know, like this, just this whole part compared to this. I do enjoy how more angular this is. You know, this feels a little more, nat This, it's, I guess it's the entire look of it. This, this feels a little more natural. This feels very put together. This feels very seamless. Um, I can also just look at the front. I mean, I think I definitely, um, I mean, I'll just come up and say it. I prefer this one. I definitely do. This is easily, um, I don't own the, the very first fighter tank. This is easily my favorite. I think it looks the best. Um, it just like, it just looks the closest to like the actual fighter tanks. And I'm putting it to like minifigure scale. I think it's the closest too. Um, some other things I mentioned, the both, both roll pretty well. I mean, can't knock anything there. This one seems to sit a bit higher. I just, one thing I noticed when I was building this guy was um, at first I thought I was doing this wrong because like the wheels are very, very low to the ground. But um, it's not like it's not worse to look for it. I'm not, I don't really have a preference. It's just you know, the difference between the two. I got a note. Um, another thing I prefer to this guy is I mentioned earlier, these uh, the little stud missile things. I prefer this to the spring loaded not spring loaded. I forget. Flick fire. No, not flick fire. I can never remember the names. They make so many of these different things. But um, I I hate um again why they're taken out because it's they're so easy just to flick on accident. And I hate I hate when Lego sets do that because I do it all the time because I got long dainty fingers. But um, I really enjoy how this one is just you know a little, it's a little little push, a little flick, a lot easier. Um. I will say in terms of I guess play features though this one definitely has more. Like I mentioned, this guy. Um, there isn't a way you, you can't open them up. The cockpit is a little bit tough, but I mean, there isn't a way you can't open this guy up. And this guy is just, um, you got the top little thing right there. Then you got the back. With the, <laughs> I didn't even realize there was some stuff in there. Um, yeah, that's, it's tough. It's tough looking at both of them like this because, um, I mean, this one is just... It's t this one. I it's, it's better. I don't. There's not really a way to sugarcoat. I think this one's definitely made a lot better than this one. This one definitely has more playability, I guess, uh, more room for imagination for some fun. But um, I mean, if you're like me, I don't really play these that often. You know, sometimes I'll do if I'm really just feeling giggly like a dumb kid one day. But um, instead of just like looking at it, I mean, this one looks a million times better than that one. I mean, between the two, obviously. Um, minifigures are pretty great for this guy. Um, the build's not. The build's great for this guy. The minifigures, not so much. Um, I'm not sure if this is something I need to care about. I think it's interesting to look at the two sets and how they've changed over time. Um, and yeah, that's about it for all this. Now, if you want to pick up some good sets to accompany this, I would definitely recommend the uh, AAT that is currently out with the Ahsoka and the 332nd Trooper. Um, it's a pretty nice mix. I mean, you got tank on tank action. You got pretty good, uh, well, a Jedi and a citizen, technically. And uh, yeah, I think they're really good at company sets. I think it's um, in terms of, um, you know, two tanks and both of them being not close to what the original design is. Um, they're definitely a good pair. Of course, you can't go wrong with buying a Fight the First Battle Pack with the set. Again, the two really go nice with each other. You know, really get to bolster the clone army, make it feel big. Maybe if you have an extra Anakin lying around, you can add him with it. You know, I got two generals to the army and a little commander to lead everything. You got a nice walker, a speeder, and you got also a nice tank, you know, I think these two sets really go well with each other. Now we've taken a look at the figures, the builds, we've compared it to a previous fire tank, we've I've done everything in my power to give this a good review. Um, so the question is, is it worth it? That's a, it's honestly a tough question. It sets like these that have like amazing figures, but like, I don't want to use the word terrible, because it's, it's not that bad, but mediocre builds. I always, it's a tough sell to me because I'm more, I'm a bit more biased because I am a minifigure person. I love the minifigures. If you're not a minifigure person, I feel like this is that you're not going to want. But if you are, I mean, this is just the Mace Windu, the clone commander, the clones. Just everything about the figures here is an absolute win. What isn't is the fighter tank behind it. 
So if the figures, if you still feel a little bit of a, not, don't feel the nudge, just like, eh, I would say maybe try to wait for a sale. Maybe Amazon will have something at some point. I'm sure maybe like the Fight First Battle Pack, it'll just be a ludicrous amount because it's already hard enough to find this as it is. Um, it'll go on sale at some point and you can pick up a few more of these guys. Um, but that's that's about where I stand. I think great figures, an all right build. I'm all right to mediocre. I don't want to give it too much credit here. But yeah, that's about everything I have for this set. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to look at more LEGO Star Wars reviews, please check out the rest of my channel. Um, if there isn't anything else, I hope you all have a great day.